Dude, that is so stupid. Stupid? Yeah. Why is it stupid? Like, what was I gonna do? Make her sleep on the couch? You know me, I've peed on that couch, I think. Clean the couch is the first solution that comes to mind. I was just being accommodating, helpful, making sure someone was comfortable. No, here's what you did and what you don't do. You don't have someone else's girlfriend in your bed next to you for regular sleepovers, and then you whine and complain later about how it's kind of very frustrating, though, because you're attracted to them and you're laying there as a friend with a raging hard on. I did not say I was up all night with a raging hard on. Those were your words. Boys, your let's words. not talk about yeah. erections, please. Does Dean know? D does Dean know? Would you tell Dean? I don't know, like, if he asked me about it, I don't tell him, but if he came to me and asked me, I would tell him. I would be forthright, but I don't know, maybe Charlie does. Maybe, ch the two of you then, behind his back without him knowing, or do you know how I would feel if I found out Isabella was having some co-ed sleepover with some other guy? That's completely. You know, when I date a man up for me, Harmony, there's no doubt what we're up to. Mm. And I don't go to any of their houses. Responsible adult, look at that. You know, mom, you know, you're at a different place in your life, and frankly, I don't know if you notice, we're different ages, different generations, you know, boys, men, women today, we go through different stages of our relationships. They stages. Stages. What are the stages? No, mm, no, faux pas. Don't humor him. Here's what it is, your stages and transitory periods. Either you love someone, you're in a relationship with them, you're content, you're faithful, or you're not. That sounds simple This enough. is reductionist crap. It's not that simple. So why don't you make her your girlfriend if that's what you oh, want? Oh, come on. It's not just what I want. It's what it, you know, there are other people involved. I have to think of other people. Is it because she has a boyfriend? Bravo, you're getting to it. That's got a lot oh, to do with girls it. Girls can have more than one boyfriend. Oh, can girls have more than one boyfriend? Yeah, they can. I Where think. did you hear that? On HBO. <laughs> You saw it on HBO. You know what, Mom? Believe it or not, life is a lot more complicated than it is even on HBO. You care about her. Yeah, I care about her. That's not the issue. That's not what we're talking about. And she loves you. She's told me so herself. She's she told me, times. too. Yeah, she's yep. told me a bunch of times. Yeah. That's great. We got love all right Calvin, around. Calvin, listen. She's not going to be around forever. Girls like Charlie are not going to just fall right into your lap. You have to take these opportunities when they present themselves to you. You don't want to end up like me. I'm sorry, I was raised my voice. So congratulations are in order. Calvin, your promotion. You earned it, so. Thank you. You're it's welcome. Very nice. It's just nice to see you having like a check in the win column, considering just the landslide on the other end of that. Thank you, I was worried you were being nice there. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, there's just so much negative that you just bring on yourself and you, all these failures. Yeah, you, made your, you made your point, I yeah. appreciate that, thank Calvin, you. Calvin. Yes? Are Charlie and her boyfriend getting married? Are they getting married? I, maybe one day, I hope not. Yeah, I just got a Facebook notification. It says Charlie Minkowski is getting married to Dean Prescott. Why are why are you Facebook friends with my friends? <laughs> that's weird th to me. There's comments. That's there's, there's comments. comments. Superb. Says, Too bad you can't wear white, Charlie. It's about time and when's the wedding date? I have lots of friends. I know how to use it. I don't know, you know, people leave their Facebook open all the time, you know? I guess you're probably somebody dicking around. What? Ah. I'm sick of talking to you guys anyway. Hey. Good? No, I didn't bring anything. No. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. Cal, wait. Are you gonna harangue me? No, dude. Charlie's engagement. I I knew you were gonna bring this up, and honestly, I just don't wanna talk about it. I just wanna go inside and watch some shit on Netflix and eat some life cereal. Look, engagements, they get called off sometimes. I know you don't believe that. You're just no. saying that because you think I'm gonna go out, like, inside and hang myself and if... That's not your concern, and that's my right to do so if that's what I want, okay? Okay. 
when Izzy and I got engaged, there was a while there where I was legitimately concerned that I chopped myself in the foot and that the relationship was over. You're fucking with me. I don't believe you. No, I swear to God, because you go from just being happy and, you know, partially wanting more to realizing this is it. And you get up to that step where you have to have one perfect day and then the rest of your life and everything just is weighing on you. And for a new couple like them, they've been together, what, a year? Yeah, a year. Dude, they're going to start having to face a lot of hard truths from the minute they have the engagement party and it sinks in to right before she walks down the altar. And if they're not cut out for it, if they're not ready... I don't need to be reassured that their relationship is going to fail. Like, my thing isn't... You know, the availability that she's, like, off the market or something. It says she's in love with someone. So there's, that's that. I know. I I give you such a hard time about the Charlie situation, and it's because I worry about you. I, I care about you, and I want to see you happy, and in a relationship you can actually just enjoy and be fulfilled in. And on the other hand, I mean, you're an idiot. Thank I, you. You're a lovable idiot. And you just overcomplicate everything. I don't overcomplicate anything. No. I embrace the complexities that are inherent in every situation. I don't I don't create new complexities. All the complexities are there when I get there. I'm just saying, like, no one's arguing this point with you, so you don't have to just so extremely focus on just the complexities. Look, swear to God. Last piece of advice you didn't ask for, but you're going to get. One. Let's go. You know what you'd normally do in a situation like this? I don't. Think, don't. Don't. don't, don't. <laughs> Please. Just. No. I. Razzing you aside, just do the opposite of what you normally would. If you really love this girl, this is the perfect opportunity. Like, now that it's at a point where you're about to reach a potential brick wall, like, do or die time. Yeah, let, so let her know how you feel. Spell it out explicitly. Why not? Like, if, it's, if it's now or never, put your cards on the table and in a mature, please, in a mature, responsible fashion without any hijinks, let her know how you feel or don't, but then you've got to bury it. I have known this girl for six years. There's no quelling it. There's no burying it. And there's no moving on. So I think that narrows my choices down. You can't just... You know, repress it all under layers of stress and alcoholism until you form a massive tumor. A tumor? I have a tumor to look forward to. Uh, I don't know. Thanks. Great. Good night. Look, in the end, I mean, being in love with someone and not knowing what to do about it, that's a pretty great problem to have. So. Get out of my car. Gotta go. Okay. You good? I'm good. Don't sweat it. <laughs>